Ladies and gentlemen, do not attempt to change your regular broadcasting system. You have now entered what is known as the Project Card Collector World. For the ones in attendance, and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to check out a sports card show in Van Nuys, California. Um, it should be a good show. I brought my slabs to trade, to sell. Parking was a little hectic, but I managed to find a parking, so let's check out the show. Did you pick up a homes when early or what? I was in on him before he was starting. Yeah, that's why. You were like one of the rare ones. He was too good coming out of college. But what made you collect him since he was he wasn't even starting yet? My partner lived in Texas and he was telling me it was the best dude. And then just looking at it, it's like it was very clear that like he just wasn't in the system and like and then when Andy Reid took him So you're kinda like, like you're kinda like scouting him before he was to an extent, like I do I play like high stakes DFS and shit like that, fantasy and et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So like I've always been like really in tune to like how coaching and placement affects NFL performance. People don't realize how big it is. Like people shit like I'm a bear fan from Chicago. People shit on the bears for not taking the homes. So, like he wouldn't have been what he is if the Bears took him. Like he's with Andy Reid for a reason, you know. Like so, yeah. Kind of a perfect star, really. And then once he started performing well in eighteen, that was a no-brainer. Then I was like, all right, let's go hard. What was it? Was it Alex Smith's injury that made him a starter? No, they, 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 they were just letting him go at the end of the year. Okay. He was always the next guy up, and, and Reid knew how good he was. Oh, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. So that's my first question. Don't worry about it. See, this is like the next thing that people are getting into right now. Wow. Wow. Oddball question. Do you have uh, any uh, Canelo cards? Canelo? Yeah, Alvarez. That's what I want to get into, dude. You can tell them the box, right? Yeah. No. That's what I want to get, dude. I. I, I saw Mayweather. Think, think about it this way. I saw Mayweather. He, he can put Another two PMGs from Merle cards. Great deal, great deal. Sold, with the Nike did you sell like the Mike Tyson and uh, PNG and all those? Oh, no, no. Because you were selling as a set, right? Yeah, I'm holding on to that. Okay, yeah. so you, you haven't sold it yet. Because I remember you telling me you were trying to sell as a set. Right? Yeah, I had a stupid what, number what, on what it. Michael Fel yeah, Fels, yeah. Well, right. Mike Tyson, yeah. and yeah. Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, yeah. I have like two shoes yeah. of raw that I'm trying to wait to get graded, but my grading guy has got a job. You talking to him at all? <laughs> it was at all. You good? Uh, this is bad business proof. I talked to him. Yeah, he's a homie. I talked with him. Yeah. Dude. He's not. He had a couple of my cards. They delivered them, hand delivered them to me. Yeah. He, it's not. It's not what people say yeah, about him. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. Oh, for yeah, the whole thing is a mix. Like, for example, someone would come. This is one of the examples that told me someone brought like 25 Zion rookies. Yeah. 
Zion's shit was skyrocketing when they first brought it. Now Zion's fat, and they, they, now they're, you know, they got their, they got it back, and they didn't pay. They're like, dude, I'm not gonna pay for those Zion's. They're not worth shit yeah. anymore. Yeah. And it happened like multiple times. And it was just like, it's a mixture of all that, man. So, but it just sucks the way that they're being portrayed. Yeah. I made a video where I talked about it, and I got roasted by people just saying, oh, you caught my eye. That was like the first thing that caught my eye. Yeah. You know his movie's coming out pretty soon. It's just like, yes. it's weird. Yeah. I think it's weird. He's going to be starting with, who's the other, one? Who's the other Marvel character that he's going to be starting with? That's right, yeah, that's right. All right, so I just made this deal for Doctor Strange, Jambalaya. Great creator, Daniel. Great deal, great deal. Thank you very much. What's up guys? So this is my pickups at the Van Nuys cardstock uh, trading show. I got some pretty good cards. I met a lot of great dealers. Uh, I think the community is just what I uh, inspire to every time I go to these shows. It's always good to see people that you recognize, see people that, that are in the hobby. It's just the same reason as you are and just to uh, you know hang out and talk about cards. Uh, so the very first pickup I had was this UFC card. I haven't been collecting UFC recently, but I'm trying to get into the market. I watch UFC a lot, and this one caught my eye. It's Chuck Liddell, the Iceman. If if you guys watch uh, UFC, you guys know that Chuck Liddell is uh, a legend in the UFC, and I believe he's already made the UFC Hall of Fame. So this is a fighter-worn material with an auto um, it's going to be numbered out of 10 so i just thought it was a great card um the price tag on this was i want to say 250 and i gave an offer for 200 and the vendor uh took it so really cool guy he was selling other cards other ufc cards that i wanted but uh this one caught my eye the most i know chuck liddell is going to be a legend in the ufc from you know years and years to come so this was like a no doubt for me so next card i got was israel adesanya he is currently the middleweight champ uh, this card is a 2021 select prism numbered out of 199 i want to say it is a kind of like a red sparkle parallel uh, i'm not sure of the actual name but I'm just gonna, for now, I'm just gonna call it like a red sparkle. Uh, if you guys watch UFC, you guys know Israel's the middleweight champ. He's defended his belt multiple times, and uh, he's young, he's hungry, and I still see him as a champ in the future years. So he's kind of a, kind of like a younger Anderson Silva, and that, that's just my opinion. Some of you guys might disagree, but. I see him as a young Anderson Silva coming up, and um, he needs to defend his belt a little bit more, and then um, maybe he'll break the Anderson uh, Anderson Silva's record for uh, title defenses. So I'm collecting the champs right now, and the next champ, the next UFC champ I have or I got, I picked up was. Kamaru Usman, he is currently the UFC welterweight champ. Um, he's also defended his title numerous times. Um, I, and honestly, I don't see anybody stopping him at that weight class. He's pretty much knocked off everybody, all the top contenders in that, in that welterweight division. Um, is he the greatest of all time? No, I would say that in that particular division, George St. Pierre is the greatest, uh, the greatest Walter Weight champion of all time. I feel Usman, he's getting to that level. However, I don't think he's there yet. Um, so this one's also number two, 199. And this is also pretty much the same set as uh, the Israel Adesanya. This is a... Uh, 2021 select um, I'm gonna call it red sparkle, but uh pretty cool card uh, Can't go wrong with the champ And then um, these were kind of like throw-ins uh, Here's another Chuck Liddell card. It's a select also another Usman card select um, I believe these 
are this this was actually a silver and this one's just a regular car so, but these were throw-ins so the dealer was pretty cool we made the deal and then he just kind of threw these in which is kind of like uh, benefited the deal even more so um the next deal i made was for marvel pmgs uh this one is actually one for my one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Merlin, from Merlin War Cards. Um, great guy. I first saw him at the National and then I actually met him at this show. Uh, took a picture with him and everything. Uh, picked up this Mysterio HGA 7.0 Bronze PMG. Um, he had a lot of high priced um, PMGs. Or I guess a lot of high-end red PMGs. But I saw the bronze is more affordable. And me and him were talking. We don't know why this one got so low of a centering. As you guys can see, it's a 6 for centering. And I really don't see... I, I could see the centering being off a little. But I don't think... From top to bottom, I could see it all being off. But I don't think it deserved a 6. I, I think it, de it deserved at least... A seven or an eight, but um, I guess HGA graded this one card uh, a lot harder than the rest. So with these bronze PMGs, they are numbered also for for one ninety nine. Um, so that's Mysterio, and then I got another bronze Marvel PMG of Electro. This is also graded a seven. And same same thing. The centering was hit hard on this one. Uh, and me and Merlin were talking. We just we couldn't figure out why it was so low of a, a centering. Um, I don't plan to crack these or anything or send them off to PSA or BGS. Um, this is just going to my personal collection. But uh, I just like these cards. I was talking to um, the great creator and... Um, I mentioned that, you know, these bronze PMGs, they're more of an entry point now for collectors. Um, the red PMGs have skyrocketed in price, and I don't think they're no longer affordable. So I think these bronze PMGs are the entry point to uh, these Marvel PMGs. So the average person can afford these a lot more than the red PMGs. So... These are going to become more popular. Um, I don't think they're going to get up to the red PMG price unless it's a major, major character. Uh, but I like villains personally. Um, I, I don't go for like I don't go for the high uh, the high end hero um, characters. I always go for the villains. Uh, that's just my uh, my preference. So I've saved the the best for last. Um, this next deal I made with the great creator Daniel, great guy. Um, I've met him before. I met him in the Pachanga show. Um, we talked about PMGs and and uh, what's currently going on with the with the market. Um, but this one caught my eye from his case. Last time I purchased the Bret Hart and the Mankind rookie cards. Uh, but this one really caught my eye. This is a 2017 Jambalaya of Doctor Strange in a PSA 8. Uh, out of all his cards, they were, I, I mean, personally, I liked all his cards, but this one caught my eye the most. And this is actually my second Jambalaya card for Marvel. Um, this is the, for, for this one, this is the most popular character right now for uh the marvel i guess universe you want to say is dr strange and as you guys know he's coming out with a new movie i believe that is could be set for summer of this year don't quote me on that but uh these jambalayas are getting high popularity so i'm trying to grab these uh before they become unattainable but i really do like this one so Doctor Strange is, he's not my favorite character, but he's one of 
the most popular characters and uh, he's become very known in the Marvel Universe and everything and all the movies coming out so I thought it was a good deal the great creator he ha he has only he always has a lot of inspiring words um, not just for negotiating but just for I guess life in general so I recommend if you haven't checked out his channel go ahead and check out him on IG and YouTube the great creator um, so yeah all right guys so I wanted to show you my recent mail day um, I think it was a really good mail day and they all came pretty much on the same day right before I left for the Van Nuys show but I wanted to save them I didn't open them right away I want to save them for the mail day right now so let's open the first one nice packaging So this one contains two of the same cards. This is the Vibranium, the 2015 Vibranium for Venom in a BGS-9. Um, they're not the parallels, they're just the base set of Vibranium. And guess what guys, this is, the, it's a Pop 2 and guess what, I have both cards in that population. So I thought that was pretty cool. These base sets for Vibranium, they're not numbered. However, they're short printed. So, um, I thought it was a good deal. I, I got this one, I believe, through eBay. Um, so, it's another, uh, it's another set that I'm collecting is the Vibraniums. They're getting uh, very popular. So, I saw the market for them. And you really can't find any any graded the, the graded vibranium cards are very hard to find and that's throughout the all the um all the sites that you search for to buy cards ebay my slabs you really don't see graded vibranium and vibranium and cards on those sites anymore you're gonna probably start seeing them in the next couple of months or later this year but you really can't find them now because vibranium hasn't really kicked off fully at this point but i feel that later this year people will start buying more of these cards they're going to start buying the parallel sets so they're going to be uh sending them to grading and then you'll start seeing them uh, on on the other sites that sell uh that sell cards so so got that done let's open the next one This one again is nice packaging. That one is that the only one? Yeah. That was really a whole box for a little package. That's cool. Hey, I don't mind. Don't think don't think it was kind of a hard to take it out of my mailbox, but other than that, it was cool. Alright, so I guess the dealer or the vendor, the seller, excuse me, threw in some extra cards. Uh, let's check out the extra cards first. Okay, some football cards. Okay. All right, that's just a throw-in. Uh, but the main card that I purchased in this transaction was this Vibranium of Thanos. Um, this is going to be the Parallel Molten set. These are actually numbered as well. This one's going to be numbered out of $2.99, as you can see. Um, this one cost me about, uh, I believe the seller had this priced at $100 or something like that. I put in an offer for $75, and uh, the seller instantly took it. So Thanos is one of the popular villains. And I figure it was decent condition, and I will probably be sending this to PSA. But I thought that was a cool pickup. 
I liked Thanos. I liked his character and everything. So that was a given for me. Let's open the last box. Ones. I believe this is from the same seller. Very good packaging as well. Okay. Uh, there's multiple cards in this transaction. This is all from the same set, the Vibernia Molten set. Um, this one is out of this one's Cyclops. This one's also going to be numbered out of $2.99. I believe all these molten um, parallel sets are numbered to $2.99. So this, this character is Cyclops. One of my favorite uh, characters in the X-Men series. Next one is one of my favorite char characters in the Spider-Man series. One of my favorite villains is the Green Goblin. This one, yep, they're all they're all numbered to one uh, 299, excuse me. So I got that one, Green Goblin. I like the little shine to it. I like how the character is displayed in the card. So I thought that was cool. The last one is this Red Hulk. I kind of thought it was really cool that it matches. Um, it's a color match. The Red Hulk and then the actual parallel color for the molten so i got this one um this is actually my first hulk card whether it be red hulk or green hulk whatever this is actually my first hulk card so yeah these vibranium cards are very they're getting very popular so i'm starting to pick them up before they become um outpriced uh for me and you know this is the way to go you just try to find uh you try to find other cards that people are not paying attention to and this is currently what I'm collecting these vibranium cards so can't go wrong with the short prints or the numbered cards so that's it guys that's the video I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me sharing the training show as well as the mail day let me know uh, your comments. Did I get good pickups or not? Um, and anything else, just go ahead and comment. I appreciate you guys watching the video. And I will see you next time. Peace.